Hello everybody and welcome back to another Path of Titans video. Today we are playing as a Stegosaurus. Um, so, I've just made it and I'm gonna grow it. I haven't played Stego in like a long long time since the start of Gondor, so we're gonna be brand new to this, gonna see what abilities it's got, it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> right, so already we're spawned in Grand Plains and we've got a flower and mushroom quest to do. So, um, I'd just like to thank again for the people that are watching my videos and stuff. I know I start every video like this. It makes me really happy that people actually enjoy the content. Uh, I've read some of the comments, they've been really nice as well. So, thank you to everyone that's been leaving comments. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get right into this stego. So, I'm playing as a balanced stego. Uh, currently I'm on Divine Beast Server 1, so if you want to play with me I'll most likely be on a Server 1. Um, just because I enjoy it more, and the dinosaurs I have here I seem to grow a bit more attached to for some odd reason. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right, i got to get my bearings because... I don't know where I am. Right. Yeah, I know where I am now. Right. I'm here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, Stegosaurus. The way you should. Uh, let's let's get right into this. You know, I want to immediately go right into Stego. So, <clears throat> Stegosaurus. The way you should play Stego, in my opinion, is defensive. It's a slow dinosaur. It's not meant for speed. It's made for defending yourself which is shown by its high armor and its high ability to, def to defend itself as well as giving off a heavy amount of bleed not too much damage but the bleed it gives oh, it, it could end you very quickly so let's say I'm being attacked by let's say two aloes as a stego uh, you'd want to find something like this a nice rock and you'd want to do that or well, you'd always want to make sure that they don't have access to your head. This is from memory from ages ago, but it's a stego. It's not like you're going to change much. So, that's really how you should play stego on your own. If you're in a group, you should probably, again, just play it defensively. Don't go running after people, because you'll probably either get left behind because stego's slow, or you'll be soloed and... You just won't have any way of defending yourself, which would really suck. <clears throat> I didn't want to be in this water. Alright, so, we're out of the water, and we are just going to go into this forest. <clears throat> so, first of all, I'd like to just say... Um, well, not first of all, I've already done that, god. Oh, it's been a long day today. Um, yeah, uh, so... I'm sorry that I haven't posted, like, earlier today. I've been really busy and stuff with, like, just, just real stuff in the real world and just trying to do stuff. But, yeah. Um, apart from that, everything's been alright. And, yeah, I just thought I'd make a Stegosaurus video because the way that I think I'm going to make my videos is on dinosaurs that I, one, personally enjoy playing, two, that I think will be entertaining, and three, that are usually popular. Because a lot of people like Stegosaurus. Even if it's not in a fight, it's just one of those iconic dinosaurs. It's like Brachiosaurus, or T-Rex, or Giga, for some people, Spino. They're a lot more iconic than stuff like Metricanthosaurus and, uh, for another one, um, Deinonychus, or Leitonovix, or stuff like that. You know, those types of dinosaurs, they're not really iconic, they're kind of like small raptors. Utah Raptor, now that one is iconic, but only because of the Jurassic World movies where they was made horrendously oversized. They took pretty much just a Utah and renamed it. So, 
good job to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're playing solo today, and... Oh, sorry for that audio. And I just thought that I'd just grow a stego. More of a chill video, because... I, I don't really want to be fighting. It's late at night, and... I, I don't want to be doing any panicky stuff, so... This video is going to be a bit more relaxed than most. And... I'm just aiming to just run around, grow to probably not even adult, just enjoy growing, talking to you guys about stuff because apparently people enjoy listening to me talk, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so for the future of my channel, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I'll probably, I'll definitely be doing pop, but I don't know what types of videos I'll be doing. I'll most likely still be on the Divine Beast servers because they're going to be releasing a lot more content as the years go by. Yes, I'm planning to do this for a long time. <laughs> um, I'm not depending on it, but I'm hoping that just because I enjoy making this stuff, like this is probably the highlight of my day, I'm just going to do, do it out of passion because I really do enjoy making these videos as well as playing this game. But like... When you play the game on your own, it's either like you're just sat on a call with someone or in an Xbox party or something, PlayStation, and you're just talking to the same people, same mates, over and over again. Whereas this, I get to express myself freely on YouTube, I don't have anyone interrupting or anything, and I just get to talk at loads of people, not not necessarily to, but I get to talk to or talk at a lot of people that watch these videos. I mean, Christ, my Ceratosaurus video is like 7 views from hitting 600? Crazy. Didn't think I'd be getting there anytime soon, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to be happy for it. Um, so, I'd mainly like to just have a bit of a talk about um see I was having some thoughts about talking about myself but I don't know if it's very uh it's not really me is it I mean talking <laughs> how ironic talking about me isn't me at the same time yeah it, it probably wouldn't suit my type of content considering there's probably a lot of children that watch this um so instead, we're going to talk about something on YouTube that I recently came across before making this. Um, so one of my first videos, or my first in fact, was Geometry Dash. I'm a huge fan of the game, I don't really play it too often, but it's on my phone. It's a small game, doesn't take up much space, it's just there. You know, paid for it, just going to have it there. So, Geometry Dash... Uh, I think like an hour ago or something, posted a video of a 10th year anniversary. That game has been out for 10 years, which I just can't imagine to even think. I think I was playing that game, I started when I was like 10. <laughs> which, to me, that's crazy that it's been out for 10 years now, and I'm still horrible at it. I mean, I'm not the worst, but there's definitely a lot of places with improvement. But that's like everything in the world, pretty much. You can never be the best at everything, even if you've like literally got the title, the best. Someone will probably either come along and beat you, or you'll lose your talent and you won't be the best anymore. And that's just how the way that's just how the way the world is. I've tried to attempt that sentence, messed it up both times, deal with it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just how the world is, because it's like Usain Bolt, fastest sprinter for a hundred meters. Eventually, that'll get beaten by someone younger and fitter, or he isn't the fastest anymore. He's quick for his age, which I don't know how old he is, but. He's not the fastest anymore. I don't. I don't even know how I got onto this topic, but we're just gonna go with it. You know, just growing a stego, talking about absolutely random stuff. This video is mainly just gonna be a lot of talking while stegosaurus in background because 
like I say, it's latish at night. I haven't recorded all day, and it's I, it's something I enjoy. So it's just gonna be more of a chill talking talking video. Which, to be honest, I feel like it. The in my opinion, there's two ways to engage your audience. You have the entertainment videos where they're like, let's say, gaming beaver aisle video. You've got all the editing and stuff, and it's like really hype and everything. Or you've got those videos that are similar to podcasts, where it's just someone talking and unless and again, there's like two types of audiences when it comes to people interested. You've got those that are there for the content on screen, and then you've got those that are there for the actual person who are talking. So this video is probably for the people that enjoy podcasts or just want to listen to someone and those that don't mind gameplay but don't mind talking to or listening to someone talk. That's mainly what this video will be about. <clears throat> I just thought that since it's Stegosaurus and it's a herbivore, I spoke to someone recently and they was talking to me about how like when people watch a carnivore video it's full of excitement because it's hunting and killing pretty much all the time compared to a herbivore video where it's usually defending or trying to find a reason to fight. So instead of like purposely arranging a fight or something, I'm just going to be chilling out playing as a stego. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling about what today's video is on, because we're already 10 minutes in. That's like a third of the video. I'm probably going to keep this one a little shorter than normal, mainly because... Yeah, just... Because it's not like a regular video, it's kind of just me talking, and I'm sure most people can't talk for a good straight 30 minutes, <laughs> even with some breaks in the middle. So it might not be 30 minutes, or it might be a bit more, I don't know, it depends until my voice really gives out. Um, but yeah, we're just going to try and find some flowers for this quest, because I need to find four more. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> Let me know down in the comments below, by the way, on like what type of stuff you guys are interested in, because depending on that, I may talk about that or I may include some of it in my video. Just you know, leave comments down below. More, I'm always interested in reading them. All right, uh, that you want, that one you want now. Um. Yeah, back when I played Stego, it didn't have a sense or a voice slot, or back limb. It only had metabolism, hide, and tail. So, yeah. You know, I've just been running as a Stego, and I've just realized how much stamina it actually has. Like, I've been running for a good a minute and a half, and I'm only at half my stamina. I know I've just put long distance runner on and that's 15% less drain, but my god, it's got a lot. There's actually been something recently that's come up with uh, Pycno. Uh, because Gizli, who does all the stats and stuff in the second Discord server, um, basically he was on vacation when some update came out and like almost every vanilla dino got either traction or long distance runner or swimming abilities and stuff. So, poor guys had to come back to a lot of messed up stuff and some stuff has obviously slipped under, such as Pycno. Um, now, that thing was a little broken. It might still be, I don't know. Um, basically, you can outrun anything as a stamina Pycno with long distance runner. You can outrun literally anything. Compi, Camto, anything. So you might not be as fast, but considering you get four minutes of stamina, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. I don't know why it's four minutes of stamina. It's not intended to be, but currently in a Divine Beast server, one server, uh, you have four minutes of straight running. 
and your stamina regen insanely fast as a pick no so if you have if you want to do a quick running test if you guys want to hop on pick no by maybe the today or tomorrow I don't know when it will get fixed um yeah you can run as a pick no for a long time and for the ecosystem in pot that's kind of it's all right, but at the same time, it's going to really mess up a lot of stuff for the smaller dinosaurs because they ain't going to have anywhere to run, and that might be pretty bad. Because th the really the only way to fight a pick no now is you play defensive and just kill it, or you're faster than it and you have to kill it by chasing it, or you run to a home cave and you hide. Or you hide in a bush somewhere. That's the only way. Because other than that, you can't run away from it. It just outstems you. Like a lot. And a lot of things can't really... A lot of things that aren't three slot. So basically, some three slots and below. Just, it, they can't kill it. It's just too good right now with its stamina. And stamina is not everything I know, but... When it comes to something that needs stamina for its attacks and charges as an attack, stamina becomes a big thing. And I know it's in like the Carnotaur family, so it's supposed to have a lot of stamina and run quickly for a long time, but for its size, four minutes, I I don't think so. It just doesn't it doesn't sit well. But we'll see what happens. That'll probably get fixed eventually. Anyway, back to Stego. So, the main attack for Stego, uh, let's say you're fighting an Apex, or an Apex is hunting you. The main attack you want is the charge, the one that I'm using now. Heavy damage, heavy bleed. It's just a simple charge, and yeah. You don't want to chase while you do it, by the way. You want to, like, show your ass. You, you want to show your butt. Which, as a baby, difficult to do, but... Eventually you get Burly as a Stego, which can be its downfall if you don't use it right. Um, the other attack for Stego is Tail Swipe, the quicker one. That one's for if you've like got a small group of dinosaurs, like a bunch of, or a pack of Deinonychus or something, and they're hunting you, or a pack of mechs, and they're hunting you because that's a lot quicker, deals less damage, a little bit less bleed, but it still hurts a hell of a lot. It hits hard, and it's kind of like Stego's version of a spammable attack. <clears throat> Why wasn't you going sideways, man? Come on. That's how you climb a hill in pot, you gotta go sideways. Or jump. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about Tyrant's uh, roar actually that buff for T-Rex in this game. A lot of people don't realize how overpowered it is, um, so let me do some quick explaining of that. So when you're on your own, it doesn't do anything. Like you're just on your own solo. At least I'm pretty sure. Whereas if you're in a group. So, let's say you're one Tyrannosaur with two aloes. Let's say you're a Rex with two aloes. If you do it, it will buff you by 11% attack. So you do 11% more damage. So that's really good, you know? That, that's a lot more damage. Now, let's say... Uh, let's... Hold on, let me count. Rex 5 at 6. Alright, so that's... No more Tyrannosaurus can join. Let's say you're a Rex with a Dasp. Uh, when that Dasp joins, your Tyrant's Roar for yourself instantly becomes 20%. So you gain an extra 9. As well as that Dasp's. So, if you both do it, times 2, that's a minute of 40% more damage. And it's limited on other servers, but on Divine Beasts, it's like you can keep d you can keep going so you can have uh, I think the max is like four so that's three that's four dasps in a group because they're three slot max is 12 so just to put that in perspective 
you can have four desps all in one group for a whole minute they are 80% buffed on their damage put that in perspective it can for its heavy bite not its bone break not its regular one its heavy bite that would three shot an allosaurus body shot wise allosaurus has um, 700 health and the death would do just under 300 damage so yeah that's crazy uh, even worse is Tyrannosaurus Rex with its strongest attack on Divine Beast being its Bone Break attack, full charged. Uh, that would kill an Allosaurus in two hits from like 700 HP. It does about 500 in one hit, which unbalanced, yes. Is it difficult to do? Yes, because you have to be a full adult Rex with charge bite have to be able to catch something up and the only thing you'd really be able to group with is a Dasp and two Allos or well, not Allos, a Dasp and two Allios because they're, they're Rexes for some reason or Tyrannosaurs so a Rex, a Dasp, that's 8 slots add the two Allios, that's a full group of 12 and you can get mechs you can get mechs out of that because I'm pretty sure it caps at 80 if not then you can have 120 as the possible max ever in a Divine Beast server with 6 Alios, which that's quite ridiculous because that's more than 2 times their damage which I think that is quite stupid for a 2 slot um, basically it's still squishy but for a whole minute it basically becomes oh it's a Therry you basically become 6 glass cannons three slot wise but you'd still be a two slot but you'd hurt like a, like a three slot and there'd be six of you now that's quite ridiculous and I don't know why no one else uses tyrants roar in a bell because on a rex uh, when you're solo the best thing to do is use deep rumble because 20% less damage for a whole minute that's great you're solo if you're in a group and you're with other Rexes, Tyrants Roar, or whatever it is, all the way, best thing you can do. It will literally boost your Rex for a whole minute for so, like, so much. You'll be almost unstoppable. Which, like, that's just ridiculous to me. And I don't understand how something can be that strong that much. Um, right, so, I'm a little baby stego. Um, I'm probably not going to get adult in this video, I, I'm still juvenile for Christ's sake, but the thumbnail probably will, I don't know what the thumbnail will be actually, it might be a baby, it might be adult. Um, we'll have to see, because uh, the guy that edits my thumbnails um, he does like all the poses and stuff for me. I'll have to see what he can do. Um, but hopefully it'll... it won't be like clickbait, it won't be like Stegosaurus with 20,000 HP and spikes coming off of it, Fortnite Battle Pass included. It'll just be a Stegosaurus in a pretty picture. Um, I've also started editing all of my videos with colour and stuff, so you could look at the first commentary video and you can tell from the Serato to... no, not the Serato, uh, every video after the Serato uh, commentary wise the brightness is up, the saturation is a bit up and it just looks a whole lot friendlier and nicer than some like dull corpse grassland to me it just looks a bit better and I think it works. It seems people seem to like not even like I don't think people really care too much, but it just looks a bit nicer. It's like the dull colors kind of say this is hardcore video. Watch if you like hard things or scary things. The bright colors is more opening to everyone cuz who doesn't love bright colors, you know? And that's coming from someone that listens to my chemical romance. <laughs> favorite colors black but like you know I enjoy a bit of color in my life every now and then um 
I don't see why anyone wouldn't, unless you're like really against that stuff, but I'm not getting into all that, that's not my type of thing. <laughs> um, right. So. Yeah, I think I might literally only just get to a <laughs> adolescent in this video. Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm I'm just enjoying this chill talk because it's kind of nice to just let things go. I've been in, I've been like busy all day. I've been doing stuff in my room. Uh, don't take that out of context. I've been, um, oh man, I've been doing stuff around the house. Been playing with the dog. I've just been doing stuff, chilling out. Um, but like also on top of that, I've been doing work for some things, uh, yeah, anyway, had a long day, and it's just nice to just chill out, talk on a, talk on video for a bit, and just, like, you know, just relax for a bit. <sighs> I tell you what, though, I am excited for the end of the year, um, because at the end of this year, like I said earlier in another video, uh, I'm getting a new gen console. So, this limited 30 FPS, ooh, don't you just love it? Hopefully that'll be gone, out the window, never to be seen again. And then I will also have less laggy audio because I found out the audio issue, by the way. It's a glitch with Path of Titans and old gen consoles. Um, not all of them, but uh, the One S it seems to be. Uh, for some reason, the audio just doesn't work well sometimes, and it will go staticky. Stat, stat, <sighs> staticky. Yeah, I don't have dyslexia, and it doesn't sound very nice. It hurts the ears a little bit. Um, the we the reason I found this was through one of my other friends who also has a series. Uh, they've got a new gen, and then another one of my friends has a One S. There's a theory again. And basically, my mic and her mic, the one who has the same Xbox as me, our mics both do the lag thing. So does another friend who's got the same Xbox. All of our mics lag. The person on the new gen, completely fine. They never lag at all. It's like, they're confused about what we're on about. The voice crackling never happens to them. So... Hopefully, I might try and get a new headset as well as a new console at the end of the year, just to make sure that's completely changed, everything will be better. I already got a new controller, so no more stick drift. Although, the first time I ever put something of mine from gaming onto a shelf was my old controller, which I started making these videos with. My limited edition Forza Horizon 5 controller. That was a good controller, I enjoyed using that one. I like the grips on the back, but... Oh well, now I, now I just got a normal, re normal red and black controller, because red and black, great colour combination. I think it goes well. <sighs> bit tired. Been recording for... Let me have a look. About 30 minutes or so. It's probably not all going to make it into the video. I think I'll stop once I've hit adolescent. Well, once I've got myself some food. Got a lot of marks though. Um, there would most likely definitely be a Stegosaurus Part 2 video. Whether that's tomorrow or the day after or something, I don't know, but I'm probably just going to leave the video exactly where I was, I'll log out, and I won't touch Stego at all. It'll probably be video only, so, you know, Stegosaurus. We like Stegosaurus. That's, of course, depending on how well this video does, so, uh, oh yeah, passed, I passed 150 subscribers. Um, so yeah, thanks guys, I can't explain how happy that actually makes me. Over, like, over 150? Considering all. Oh. oh, this is new. Okay, a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is new. Right. 
Um, but if you want to find out that, you're going to have to watch the next video. So, yeah, this is where I'm going to log out. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to the video, leave comments down below. And as always, read the description for the link to the Divine Beast Discord. And as always, have a great day. Good.